Good morning. Good morning. We are having a little day stay weekend. Day weekend around Dublin. We're literally going off to breakfast right now. Booked for nine o'clock. Look at my airbags. Look at my airbags. Thanks a million for being an early riser, Peter. Sure. But looking forward to breakfast. We're going to Alma, which is really nice. Probably one of our. Huh? We're not going. Why? It's fucking freezing and it's about to rain. But we need to ring them and cancel them. Who's going to be lining up to get an outdoor seat? Okay, so a consensus. Should you ring a restaurant and say you're not showing oh, up? Oh, no. Cheeky. Yeah. Sourdough, salsa, you've added guac and extra eggs as well. So yummy! Hey guys, I'm just quickly doing my makeup. Um, so I actually have news. Everything's always changing around here. I am leaving Dublin. I am moving home in two weekends and this is, I'm going to London next weekend. So this is like one of my last weekends. It's my last full weekend here. It's just the way kind of things worked out really quickly. We were like aware that this was happening, but just it just happened quicker than we thought it would. So, huh? Ready to yeah, I'm ready to go. So Peter's obviously here, so we're gonna have a nice little weekend, do all like nice little bits, and then I'll like I'll be here um, during the weekend stuff. So I will have like a little bucket list I'm gonna have to tick off. I know that's silly, but like even when I lived in New York, did did you know I lived in New York? Do I say that a million times? But I just feel like when you live in a city, you not that you take it for granted, but you're just doing like your day-to-day -day bits. One of the first things when I went over there, I wanted to do a sunrise. I had a coffee, oh my God, palpitations. I wanted to do a sunrise um, walk of the Brooklyn Bridge and I took my last weekend in New York to do it because when you have so much time, you just leave things off. And again, there's some things I wanted to do, so we'll be doing that during the week and stuff. But this weekend, just gonna have chill time, enjoy, enjoy Dublin. Just quickly, like trying to look a bit better. Um, so see you soon. in for another coffee. How do people drink so much coffee? Went into Caf, probably would be the best coffee shop in town, I think, from a girl who doesn't drink coffee. Peter's getting an iced old latte. They, when they ice them, they like blend the ice in with the coffee and it's so good. I'll show you when Peter comes out. It's so quiet in town. Like usually the street would be hopping, but it's quiet, but it's only 10. No, sorry, it's 11. It's Saturday morning, so probably busy up in the next couple of hours. It actually looks so cool, so there's some ice in it, but they blend it, yeah. Look at that little foam. Yeah, your name. I mean, these are really hard to get. I feel like they're a bit too bright. I don't like the dark laces. Maybe I'm just being a bit of a cow. <laughs> oh, I don't like those laces. They look like um, robes or something for your communion yeah. or a wedding or something. Gerard's. Gerard's for a little snack. Sitting on either side. Okay, 
guys, we're going for dinner. We're going for dinner at Gigi's in Ranla. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to dress cute. So I'm not sure about this outfit. It's a little different for me. Um, even to the hair different and absolutely botched it. Well, kind of only realizing that now. It's fine. Um, my room is a mess because Peter's here and Peter is a mess. But guys, Peter did laugh when I showed him the outfit, which could be a good sign or it could be a bad sign. Um, don't slate me, I'll show you. What do we think? Peter is singing, he's showering. Because as soon as I say I'm ready, he goes into the shower because that's the way we work. What do we think? Is this terrible? I didn't originally have the shirt in it, but then, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no problem. Okay, update, I've taken the white shirt off underneath and I think it looks cool. Peter hates this job, but I think it's cool. Very, <laughs> very different for me. But we're branching out. We're not wearing sweatpants every day anymore. We're not doing it. You'll uh, have to tell that, yeah. Yeah. Whenever it's early twilight I'll watch till a star breaks through Look funny, it's not a star I see It's always you Whenever Okay, so if anybody watched the vlogs from America You'll know I was obsessed with two drinks. I was obsessed with Arnold Palmer's, which is iced tea, half iced tea and half lemonade. It's so good. I actually haven't made that since I came back to Ireland. That is something I shall be doing this week. But the other drink was iced peach, iced peach, iced peach green tea lemonade unsweetened. Iced peach green tea lemonade unsweetened. Yeah, that's right. So we just went into Avoca and Starbucks. So a little bit of a bougie lunch. Um, the chicken sandwiches in Avoca are next level. So what's the name of the brand? Poulet Bonfin. Poulet Bonfin. Amazing. Like they pull the chicken off the bone right in front of you. And there's like really nice basil mayo, basil mayo, whatever. And um, just insane. You get in with stuffing as well. And then I got the drink. Now, this is a peach ice green tea. So there's no lemonade in it. But... I have already drank some and it is yummy. I think peach is the superior flavor. Peach and mango. Like a mango frozen margarita. Goodbye. And then peach anything. Goodbye. Like, so yum. I mean, come on. just realized this is my last Herbert Park food market every Sunday. So I live right on Herbert Park and they have this really nice market um, every Sunday and it has like loads of stalls. I've had it in like loads of my videos because I go here so much. Um, but it's my last one because like next weekend I'm in London and the following weekend I'll be gone by the Sunday. So it's my last one. <laughs> I'm such a sentimental person like this is no big deal and I will be like this is so major. But it's Peter's first time here, so he's just gone on ahead. And uh, yeah, it's our last little thing before Peter drives home, so cute. I'll show you this certain stall, but these scones here are so good. Um, I forget the name of the guy, but it's like a, his face is the logo. But they're so good. There's like an almond and pear one, a raspberry white chocolate one, plain one. Oh, like just so good. I love them so much. So I always try and get a few if I can. I'll show you now. Untrue. Oh, 
money each time I fall in love. Just came back down to the market like a couple hours later and I just got this really nice falafel wrap. I seriously am obsessed with this market. I couldn't recommend it enough. Look at this. A lamb falafel plate. And look at all this. I'm just... You may hear Gabby blaring Taylor Swift in the background. Adds a little spice. Adds a little no spice. Up to you. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Hardly. YouTube, just don't do that to me. Okay, so I didn't video everything from the weekend because, you know, want to enjoy the moment and all those kind of things. Um, but myself and Peter went into that bookshop, Hodge, Hodges, Hodges Fidges, Hodges Fidge. And I got a new book because I was reading another book. Where did I last move off, stop off with talking about books here on the vlog? I think I was talking about American Dirt and I was only like halfway through. I loved it. I loved it so much. A little short blurb of American Dirt. It is about, so it's set in Mexico and it's like cartel based, it's family based. It's, there's a lot of suspense, a lot of thrill. Um, but it's very good. I really loved it. I, I actually just, I have to like the character. I have to be like in it to win it with the character, um, which I didn't find with the book I was reading previously, Exciting Times. Loved American Dirt, then went on to another one that I wasn't obsessed with. So it's called Paris Syndrome, right? So it's 11 separate stories uh, just of women traveling. So when I read that in the back, I was like, that's cool. And then like the places that I mentioned are Brooklyn, Mexico, Donegal, Texas. And I was like, oh my God, I've been to all those places. This is going to be so relatable for me. Um, I just, I feel like I'll finish it, but I'm just, I was halfway through went to the bookstore of Peter and I was like I just not excited to pick this up like I'd rather watch Netflix than read this that is not a good sign so picked up the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo so it was like second raidest the second raidest the highest raidest raidest ew you know when you walk into the bookstore and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was number two, and I'm usually like, "Oh my god, I want to get a different kind of book." And then I hate them when I get them. So I was like, "Let's just stick with what the general consensus is," and I love it. It's just been one day, and I'm a quarter of the way through. I I love it. It's just a good story. I need a good story. I'm interested by the characters. So yeah, enjoying that loads. Would recommend you know, friends. Looking forward to London next week. Like really looking forward to it. I haven't been in so long and I love London so much. So it'll be fun. A little few days. Oh, also. Also, I just have been finishing up my website. Uh, excuse me? Yes. Um, I started a website because like I think I'm doing a lot of things that require a website or like an Instagram page, a separate Instagram page for like graphics, but I don't really want a separate Instagram because my mind can't handle. So website. It was so much fun making it, made it myself with Wix and um, using their templates and stuff. And I'm going to launch that like in the next day or two. Like la launch for what? Like it's nothing, it's not like you can buy anything off it straight away anyway but it's um it'll be good for if someone asks me about my work or something i'm not like sending them over screenshots of stuff i've done i can just send them over to a website and then if anybody's interested in anything that i can do um it's nice to have just a place where everyone can go and see uh, i hope this vlog isn't too short i know people prefer longer vlogs but especially when i'm with peter or with anyone i don't want to be videoing because it kind of takes away from the moment with them i'd rather do videos by myself do you know what i mean um but in London it'll be fine because we'll be together so long that it won't matter if I'm on my phone and stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Missy. Okay, have a great week.